Hello. Hi, Mister. <clears throat> Hi, teacher. How are you, Mister Octavio? Excellent. Excellent. That's great. Great. Mister Jose, hello. Finally, man. My goodness. Good to share. What happened? Nothing. Are you? I, I'm eating. <laughs> oh, you. What are you eating? Carne asada. Oh, nice. We have Eliana. Hi, Eliana. How are you today? Hi, very good teacher. Excellent. Ready for class? I think so. <laughs> Great. And then, and then I have to clean this because Mr. Ramon, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, man? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine, thank you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yes, Mr. David. Hello, how are you today? Hello, teacher. I'm good. I'm good, thanks. Excellent. Ready for class? Yeah, I'm ready. Perfect. Leo, how are you, man? Ready? <clears throat> Leo, 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 Leo. All right, guys. Well, let's start with the class. No cameras today. Nobody. Oh, my gosh. When you finish eating. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get, let's get to work. Today, we are going to start with uh, step 21. As I told you, you know, last week, it was an important week because it, it was the, the middle of the course, you know? It was just the middle of the course. And uh, well, today we're going to start with the second part of the course, which um, we're going to start with adjectives today. All right. And um, if we think about this adjectives, um, I don't know if you remember, but before in previous classes, we talked about the parts, the parts of speech, okay? And you will say, what is this, right? Or what are, what are the parts of speech? We mentioned before that we have eight elements, right? We mentioned that we have nouns. We mentioned that we have pronouns. We mentioned that we have verbs. We mentioned that we have adverbs, okay? We mentioned, we're talking about eight of them, all right? Eight elements. Number five, we got the prepositions. Number six, we Adjectives. got, thank you, mister. Adjectives, thank you. We have seven the connectors or conjunctions, if you want to say it that way. And number eight, the exclamations, right? Well, if you um, if you analyze this list, okay, it's very complex, right? Because it's representing, right, the complete English, right? Um, I'll say the complete English. Everything, you know, everything that we know about English is going to be divided in these eight categories. Um, one of them, it's so important, you know, that it's going to be the adjectives. And talking about this, 
we are going to have different topics that will develop from the original topic that is adjectives. Make sense? Hi, Mr. Ricky. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Good teacher, and you? I'm great, thank you. Uh, so let's work on page number one, which is adjectives, okay? And let's go with the information. Can you help me please, Mr. Octavio, with number one? <clears throat> yes. Uh, adjectives describe nouns. Examples. The small house is on sale. Yep. Examples right here. Examples. Uh, read, dark. Uh, Ill I, illogical. 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 A scale, big, crazy. Very nice. All right. So look at this information because this, this is cat um, characteristic uh, number one, right? What is the characteristic number one? It says that we are going to describe the nouns with this, all right? And here we have some examples, right? to describe something, red, dark, illogical. What other adjectives you remember? Examples that you can give me. Hi, Jackie. Adjectives. <clears throat> Pretty. Pretty, of course. Pretty. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Or no. Which one? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Nah. Gorgeous. I had you spell gorgeous. I don't remember. Gorgeous. There you go. Okay. Um more adjectives? that you remember? Thank you, Jose, for the camera. Are you in a different apartment? Yellow. No, it's the same, sure. No, uh, because I'm, yeah, I'm in, a, in a kitchen. Uh, All right. Yellow, yeah, more adjectives? Come on, this is very easy. Expensive. Expensive, thank you, mister. Right? So here we have examples of adjectives, right? And if we go with the next, look at this one, right? If you think about the example, the small house is on sale. What we need to understand is that the adjective goes before the noun. That's something that we understand, right? Adjectives go before the noun. And then this one over here, is it a noun? Yeah, because it's an object, right? So we can do that. That will be characteristic number one, as I told you. Let's go with number two, Mr. Jose. Help me, please. <clears throat> uh, adject adject adjectives are always singular. We never use a plural adjective. Mm -hmm. uh, example, the small houses are on sale. Yeah. So look what we're gonna do here. If you think about adjectives, they never go with plural. For example, in Spanish, we say las casas grandes and the adjective is in plural, right? Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Los escritorios caros, right? In Spanish, we do the adjective um, plural, but in English, we don't, okay? I can say the small house, right? Which is singular right here, or I can say the small houses, which is plural right here, but my adjective is going to be normal all the time, okay? 
All right, that's like extra information. Let's go with number three. Ileana, can you help me please? We can use more than one object, adjective to describe the nouns. Mm -hmm. um, order, order. order of adjective. Uh, quantity, two. Uh -huh. Op opinion like beautiful size yes. small age old shape uh, rectangle Re yes say? color blue or origin origin material uh break okay so thank you Ileana so what we have in here these ones over here are the types of adjectives that we have, right? Um, quantity, remember, we can say some, a few, uh, one million, I don't know, you know? But quantity is going to represent an adjective, right? Opinion, well, this is very easy to identify, you know, it's your opinion. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not true, of what, for example, oh, mm, water is the most important liquid in the world. But that's my opinion. Maybe it's not the opinion for you. You know what I mean? But we can do that. Mr. Ramon, thank you for the camera. So we go with size, small, big, enormous, you know, hu <laughs> huge, I'm sorry, right? That's talking about the size. If we go with age, we can say all new, I don't know, right? So we're gonna practice that. So these ones over here apply only when you describe something, obviously, with more than two adjectives. If you have one adjective, well, you don't have to worry about the order, you know? If you have only one adjective, for example, uh, the big house, you know, no problem. But if you want two adjectives, you need to follow this order. Okay, for example, I'm gonna say, The, the ugly, ugly, it's my opinion, the ugly, right? The ugly, big, it's small right here. The ugly, big house, you know? Two adjectives to describe one noun. What is that noun? Only one noun. One noun. The house. The house, right? And for that, I have two adjectives to describe, right? What if I want to put a color? I want to say big, sorry, ugly, big, and then I put a color. Okay, so I'm going to say the ugly, oh no, 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 no. The ugly, big, blue house. In that case, I have three adjectives, you know? But this is like, it's very weird that you describe with three or more adjectives, you know? It's information that we need to know. Let's go with rule number five, Mr. David, please. <clears throat> okay. We use adjectives before the noun, but after some verbs. And before a noun, the small house are on sale. The, the other one is the house are small. I don't like it. 
sorry, I have a mistake in here. Is, is, because it's singular. The small house is on sale. Okay. The small house is on sale. The house is small. I don't like it. The house, the, the small house is on sale. The small house is on sale. Okay. We have, what is my verb? The small house is on sale. What is my verb? Is, is. Is, right? This is my verb. Okay. So it's before. Before the verb. Before the noun, obviously. Before the adjective, right? The small house is big. The big city is amazing. The food, no, the um, delicious food is ready. You know? We're describing. But we can do after the verb, which is this one, right? After the verb. The house is small. Before the ver before the verb, it will be the small house. Make sense? Right? La, la gente está diciendo que estamos locos. <laughs> right? All right. So let's do some practice. Maybe we can do some practice. Okay. Look at the um, when we have a, uh, for example, I will move. I will move to adjective, and I'm gonna put city in here. I will move to. I will say big. Right? To, and in here, look, when the adjective, no, 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 when the noun is singular, all right? When the noun is singular, what noun? El noun que vas a describir, right? When it's singular, you need a a or an an with the adjective. Right? For example, quiero una hamburguesa deliciosa. How do you say that? Una hamburguesa deliciosa. I, I want a burger. I want a burger. A burger. Pero quiero una, quiero una hamburguesa deliciosa. I want a delicious burger. Exactly. I want a. I have my adjective here, which is delicious, right? Delicious. And then I, I have my burger over here, right? Okay. Burger, only one. Okay. I need a noun for delicious. Yeah. What if you... Delicious. What if the adjective that you have, for example... Ugly, um, ugly car. What would you put in here? I want, no, not I want. I saw, <laughs> mejor. An, 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 there you go. I saw an ugly car, okay, why? Because we have a singular noun, okay? ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Bien? O estoy hablando mucho. <laughs> Hi, Bene, how are you? Carlos, hello. Hi, teacher. How are you, Bene? Uh, good, good, good. <laughs> bueno, so, so. At, at the mine? Yes, <clears throat> the mine. Uh, I take I take vacation in last weekend. Oh, good and for you! Today I travel to mine. So you are depressed. 
Yes, for three days. <laughs> three days, no more. Yeah, I know. Carlos, what's up? How are you? Good, yeah, teacher. Very good, mister. All right, let's go with yes, the info, man. Jackie. Más o menos también. Why? Yeah, eliminó a México de la Copa América. Pues. Oh, yes, I know. Y a Estados Unidos lo están eliminando ahorita también. No, te dicen, no. Pero you bueno, should, vamos a aprender should, para, you, yeah. para matar la tristeza. Oh, that's good. Learning for sadness. Okay, let's go with the instructions. Ramon, help me with the exercise one instructions, please. <clears throat> exercise one. Describe the following noun. Use a or an in singular noun. Follow the grammar rules. Follow the grammar notes. For example, number one, Mr. Ramon, can you read it? Number one, I want to move a new city. I want to move to a new city. So this is what we were talking about, right? A city, only one city. So I have my adjective, but I have my article representing one, right? Let's go with number two, David. It's in plural, David, so. Okay, I don't like and horror movies. Okay, horror movies. Do you need a an article? I don't like because it's, No. Because it's blue. No, no article. Okay. So I don't like horror movies. Very good. Mr. Jose. Number number three. Uh, Carlos will travel to a big city. A big city. Yep, it's singular, so ah, right? Ileana, help me with number four. Look, Ileana. It's after the verb. Ileana is not, oh yes, you are. This is easy. No, Ileana is not here. Jackie, can you help me? It's easy. The, the bar is small. Yes, simple. Uh, B and A. Describe the song. I love that. Oh, this is interesting, guys, because we have that, okay? That is representing the article a and or da in this case. So in that case, we don't need a, right? Oh, I love a uh, beautiful song. I love that beautiful song. Yep. There you go. Octavio, number six. <clears throat> Stay here. I will go and buy some um, I don't know, adjective a, for the a, a, a one gallon of water. <laughs> some, but the adjective. Um, add delicious. <laughs> delicious, refreshing could be for refreshing, water. Refreshing water. Okay. That would be an adjective, refreshing water. Okay. You repeat, you repeat some, teacher. You repeat some. I rep oh. Yeah. oh, that's right. Yeah. So some is representing the a uh, or the n, right? Yes. Yes. So we don't say a uh, refreshing water. No. Okay. Um, number seven is easy. The weather is hot. The weather is hot. Yeah, no problem. Number eight. Number eight is easy. After the verb to be. Help me. My house is big and your house is small. Exactly. Number nine. 
We need to describe the pizza and we need to describe the soda. I want to order some pizza with um um with a big soda. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, with a big soda. With a big soda. Very good. <clears throat> um, we need to describe the pizza though. I want to order some. How do you describe the pizza? Um good pizza. Okay, Delicious. some good pizza, yeah. Yeah, it's possible to say, I want to order a good pizza. Yeah. Yes. Yes, teacher. De depending on the context, right? So yeah. Um, number ten. You need this to describe is, your brother. This is my little brother. Excellent man. <laughs> this is my little brother. Okay. Let's continue. No questions in this moment, Jackie? No questions? Ramon? No? Leo? Questions? VNA? Be happy, VNA. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Today, I no. am not today. Sorry. How can we describe person? I am a good person. A good person. We have the article. Um, how do you feel right now? How do you feel right now? I feel happy right now. I feel happy. And if you see, look after the verb. Right? Um, Very good, Jackie. How was Christmas? How was Christmas this year, guys? How was Christmas? Christmas was warm this year. Christmas was what again? Warm. <laughs> no warm, siempre. okay. Yeah. Warm this year, very good. Who broke the glass to drink water? Who broke the glass? He. Oh no, sorry. What 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 glass he broke? <laughs> <laughs> the big one, the small one, the old one, the new. He broke. Help me read it. He broke the new glass. A ver. Uh -huh, sí. Yep. He broke the new glass. This is representing the ah, uh, the an, the some, you know. This is the, what verb is this? It's by. By in what tense? It's in past. Has. In past. I bought, you need to describe jeans and it's plural. Um, beautiful jeans. I bought for, beautiful jeans. For my sister. For my for sister. For the party tonight. All right. Good. Uh, um in here I need to take sorry I need to take how can you describe shower a shower I describe it yeah a what shower um, refreshing. relaxing refreshing relaxing yeah <laughs> refreshing relaxing Quick can be a quick shower. I need I need to take a quick shower before I go to work. How can you describe shoes? It's plural. She is wearing uh, comfortable. Amazing. Yes. Comfortable. 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 Yes. Comfortable. Is I want comfortable shoe. Do I need do I need the a or the or the a or an or whatever? No. No. Can I put the? Is correct with plurals. Yeah. 
She's wearing the yeah. comfortable shoes, yeah. Because you can say she's wearing the green shoes, the blue shoes, right? All right, let's describe dinner. Delicious. Delicious. Mom is preparing a delicious dinner. Ah, delicious. Very good. Yep, because dinner is 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 not is well yeah, it's one complete, right? How was the movie? The movie was amazing. Oh. The movie was amazing. Very good. Um how is the house that Joe has? <laughs> A nice house. A nice house. John has a nice house. No questions, guys? Nah, right? Teacher, um, mom is preparing a delicious dinner. Puede ser también mom is preparing the delicious dinner? Yeah, of course. Okay. It is possible. Thank you. Yeah, remember that that is going to be your joker for singulars and for plurals with no distinction, right? Okay. Okay, all right. Let's go with some, let's go with exercise number two. Can you help me, Ramon, please? Exercise two. Use the following adjectives to create positive, negative sentences and questions. Yeah. Perfect. So look, this is your adjective one. This is your adjective two. You need to give me a positive with tall and you need to give me a negative with short. This is open participation so we can do it fast. Okay, let's assign the exercise. Open, open. <laughs> David. <laughs> Come on. A sentence with tall. Tell my me. sister have a short hair. My sister, but okay, I'm oh. gonna accept it. <laughs> my sister has long hair. Short hair, I'm sorry. Okay, so now you need to give me tall with a negative. Short tall, oh my God. Short what? Hair. Hair. Hair, thank you, man. <laughs> All right. Negative? My sister hasn't. Is the same sentences in positive or negative? No, you can you can do different Sorry. sentences. Okay. Yeah. But Vianney hasn't no mm -hmm. doesn't, doesn't have. Right? My sister doesn't, doesn't have a long a, mm -hmm. doesn't have short hair. Oh, long hair. What is Al this? Oh, no, 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 What no, man? <laughs> well, you guys. That's him. Those... My sister hasn't be tall. No? No. Doesn't and be is not good. Is Hasn't no, isn't, isn't what tall. tall, isn't tall. Yeah, my sister isn't tall. All right, 
Ya despertamos. Yes. We Ya got ando it. despertando ya. <laughs> Después All right. de ocho, ocho horas de viaje, ya ando despierto. Oh, my God. We need to do a question with chip and a negative with expensive. My clothes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Is negative. Cheap. Question with chip. Negative expression. Do you Pero have a? Uh, do you have a uh, cheap cell phone? Do you have a cheap cell phone? That's a good question. Cheap cell phone. Or Carlos. A per negativa la pregunta no. It's a, it's not a question. It's not. Uh, it's, 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 it's an it's an word the 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 question. Yes, it's correct. Uh, the, the sentences. The, yes, the, the second. It can be um, the answer. I, yes. No, I don't have. No, I don't have my cell phone. Is expensive. Yep. No, I don't. No, I don't. Only like that. No, I don't. Okay. Because okay, if you so... say, no, I don't have, you need to tell me everything. Okay. No, I don't have, yeah. you know? Yes, I, no, I don't have. My cell phone is expensive. Is that, yes, that's no? perfect. That is perfect. No, I don't. My cell phone is expensive. Perfect, man. Yep. All right. Negative with open. It's an adjective. The door. Tell me. The door is open. Negative. Oh. The, the door the, isn't open. The door isn't open. Isn't open. Very good. This is the adjective after the verb. And question with closed. Do you have a uh, closed the door? No. No. Do, do you have tienes? Is different. Can you? Can you close the door? Oh no, close it. Mm. This question. Ah, it's, it's... I mean, it, yeah, if you say, can you close the door? It's correct, but you are using closed as a verb, not as an adjective. Aquí sería la algo cerrado, restaurante cerrado, puerta cerrada. That's the adjective. No cerrar. Oh. Is the door closed? Yeah, actually. <laughs> Is the door closed? Right? Está la puerta cerrada. That's the adjective. Okay. Let's go easy. Positive cold. ¿Cómo le gustan las preguntas, profe? Well, you need to practice questions. <laughs> Is the beer cold? <laughs> it's the beer cold. Okay, that's the question. Is the positive. beer cold? Give me a positive with hot. My but coffee. This is good. My coffee is very hot. My coffee is very hot. You got it. After the verb to be. Right? After the verb to be. All right. Cleaned and dirty. Clean, positive, dirty question. The kitchen positive. is clean. Yeah, that one is easy. The kitchen is clean. And question? With dirty? But... Teacher, I have a, a, a 
question in this sentence the kitchen is clean it's correct mm -hmm. it's ah, okay yes yes yeah because it's after the verb to be <clears throat> yeah Thanks. no problem what is dirty Sucio. dirty is the is the opposite of clean sucio sucio is the it's fridge the, is the, is the what? <laughs> sorry Liana. is it's the restroom dirty Excellent. Is the restroom dirty? El tip para esta pronunciación, porque es muy difícil, porque estás combinando dos eres, ¿no? ¿Por qué? Dirty. Porque esta T la vamos a convertir en R para decir dirty. Dir, dirty. You see? Por eso dicen, muchos le huyen a la pronunciación y dicen dirty. Está correcta. ¿Ok? Dirty está correcta. Pero nadie dice dirty. Entonces van a decir, dir, con la R, ri, dirty. Dirty. Excellent, yes. Dirty, double R in there. Ok, uh, we got brave and scared. Positive and question. I have a brave dog. Excellent. I have a brave dog before the noun. Very good. And scared question. asustado a esa. Ajá. Ustedes están asustados. Es brave. Ah. Bravo. Brave? No. No. Valiente. Oh, brave. Valiente, yes. Valiente. Yes, sir. Bravo sería aggressive, I think. Sí, so, Carlos, no. scare, scare, Carlos. Or you guys, question? Do you like scared movies? <laughs> ah, not for no. movies. Ah, okay. Are for we... movies, it's okay. scary. 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 <laughs> scary the... movies. Okay. Are we scared? <laughs> Are we scared? Are we scared? <laughs> Yes, you are. Very quiet. You got it. No questions? Yes, sir. Excellent. Let's do it then. Uh, can you help me, please? Leo, with the instructions? Exercise one. Espera, ya que lo saco. Gatito. <laughs> you have cats? Yes, Ramon, you have cats? Three cats? Expensive. They are expensive. <laughs> um... Help me, Jose, with the instructions, please. Um, look at the adjectives and conjugation tense, tenses give you give by your professor and write what you are ask, asked. Very good. Okay. So we need to complete 10 sentences with this. Here is the example. Okay. Look at that. We have three fat three elements. This is element number one, which is my subject, okay? In this case, the name for that is Daniel. 
Don't worry, Leo, don't worry. Okay? Now, the second information is in what conjugation? We're going to use it in present, right? In that case, I have has, it's in present, right? And then in my complement, I have my adjective here. Okay. Daniel has very long arms. You got it. Ready for two? Copiaron la uno ya? Copy number one because it's this one. Is the example. Please. <clears throat> Ready. Oh, pues no se las Can you go back to Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Teacher, the, this book is the 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 10 or the 20 the 21. The I'm sorry, that 11, that 11. Really? What page? 11 we have, let me check. Let me number check. 2. Number two? Yes. Yeah, number two. Okay, thanks. Mm, 21, here we go. Okay. All right, well, let's go with number two. This is your subject. This is the adjective. And you have to say it in pass. 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 Was where or ed or irregulars? I was crazy. When? When? All the time. <laughs> I was crazy really? all the time. <laughs> today. <that> true, <laughs> today. I was crazy today. Yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. Why? We need to explain more. I was crazy yesterday. Why? Because... I don't have time okay because i don't have time but look you are giving me pass you need to give me pass oh pass no i didn't didn't i didn't, I didn't. right the pass auxiliary for pass in this case didn't perfect I was crazy yesterday because I didn't have time. Perfect sentence. Adjectives, right? Number three. Oh, don't copy from my other students. <laughs> don't copy. <laughs> uh, este ejemplo me lo dio un niño de 11 años, eh? Velo. ¿Eh? Era el que le iba a dar <laughs> 11 years. Copy it. She will be tired after her work. I have I have a I have a class with teenagers, 11, 12, 13. Oh my gosh, they're really good. Four, ready? This one is in present progressive. Remember, present progressive is Yes. It's happening right in the moment. I you. Jose. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me. Jose is buying. See? He is buying, yes. 
a new car. Excellent. Jose a new red car. <laughs> oh, nice. There you go. Two adjectives, a new red car. A new red, an expensive new red car can be too. Three adjectives. Yes. Got it? Number five, ready? This is your subject in present, dirty. Dirty. My t-shirt is dirty because I had a football game. Excellent, man. Perfect. Because I had a football game. Excellent, David. You know, connector. Acuérdense que los conectores les van a dar, les van a dar permiso para cambiar de presente a pasado, ¿no? Muy bien, mister. Number six, ready? Yes. Number six. This is the subject, future, rich, and why? I be going to? I will be going to a rich. A rich. Okay. I will be going to no, because this is the verb to be. I, I, I will be going to reach. I am. Um, um, I am going to. Okay. But to I'm what? Going to... Uh, I need a verb in here. You need a verb. I'm going to be. I'm going to be uh, rich. Yeah. I'm going to be rich. When or why? Because I bought. Why? why? Because. I win. Because, in the because I in, in past. Oh, no. no, no, no. In future, right? Because I work. But el because lo puedes cambiar. After that. But I am going to be rich. Ajá, pero dice, seré rico. Voy a ser rico. Porque gané la lotería. Puede ser, ¿verdad? Sí. Because, yeah, I, won. because I won. Because I won. Voy a ser rico porque gané la lotería. It's possible. Right? Because I, I won the lottery. Oh, because I will win. Mm-hmm. Right. All right, number seven. This is your subject. Simple, pass, smart. Simple, pass. You need time expressions in the past. In kindergarten. In when I was a child, I don't know. I was um idea, a uh, smart idea. I, I was, yo era, o yo tení, o yo tuve, o yo tengo. Yo tuve, yo tuve, yo tuve. So, what is the past of have? Had. Yeah, I had, tell me more. Had a smart idea. 
when or why and uh, university in the university I had a smart idea in the universe, but you got it, yeah, pass. Ready for eight? ¿Cómo va, Ramón? Bien. ¿Quieres intentar una? Eh, ahorita, ahorita. Sé que la agarré. Okay. All right. Number eight. Simple pass married these people. <laughs> Why this this photo? I don't know. Because <laughs> it's in past. Ah, okay. <laughs> Pero la foto está rota. Aha, uh -huh. because it's in past. It's separate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the idea, I guess. <laughs> So it's plural. They was married. No. They it's were. Plural. They, they, were. Say, 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 they were. They were married. When? The last year. The last year. Ah, qué poquito le pusiste, José. <laughs> <laughs> de matrimonio. Así yeah. la hora. <laughs> last December. <laughs> right? Oh my goodness. Yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday. Yeah. They got divorced today. Emotion. Right? Emotion. <laughs> Number nine. Let's see. Ese sería el octavio, this, yo creo. No. This yo... one, right? Yes. You, it, lo, it looks like Octavio. Chinese. Look. No, yo digo por Octavio, el casado. Yes. Que ya no está casado. Ah, this one. No, Octavio is single. You're single, right, Octavio? Yes. For two years. To attend, to, you are single for only two more years? Llevo dos años soltero. Ah, okay, okay, okay. For two years single. Sí. Si no me dijiste que cinco. <laughs> We're gonna fight. So, future. I will be curious. I will be curious. With what or why? Or with, with what? A, yeah. With the metallurgy. With the metallurgic. I will be curious with the metallurgic. Yeah, future. Perfect. Number 10, simple present, old. This is to finish. No. <laughs> Octavio is old. Octavio is old. Oh, no? No, no. <laughs> Let's put um <laughs> Let's put an old man. Pero como old man. It's an old man. How old are you, Octavio? 27? Yes, sure. Oh my God. Okay. Mm -hmm. Microphone is. Yes. Yes. Tiroso, tiene más de 30, profe. Estoy ando poniendo. Oh, look at his Octavio face. Octavio is an old friend. Octavio is an old friend. Okay. Better than. Andale. Better than man, yes. Thank you, mister. <laughs> An old friend. Okay. Okie dokie. All right. So, what time is it? 8.33? Hmm. Let me check.
Yeah, okay. All right. So look, what we have in here, guys, let's continue with the, we need to continue with a new topic, actually. All right. Um, See? Oh, yeah, here. There you go, Octavio. Here you go. Okay. Look at the topic now. I mean, the introduction for the adjectives, we understand that, right? Before the nouns and after the verbs. That's something that we practiced before, okay? And we can use them in present, past, future, in whatever, right? But we have a specific topic with the adjective that is the pronoun, one and ones. These ones are connected with the adjectives, okay? For example, can you help me, Ramon, with the number one? <clears throat> We can use the pronoun now, one or one, to substitute a noun before mention it. Okay. Example. Example. I love this house. I don't like that one. All right. Look at that one. That one. All right. Yep. What we are saying is that we will substitute. We will substitute nouns, nouns, okay? They can be singular or they can be plural. That doesn't matter, all right? We are going to substitute nouns with what, okay? With the word one or with the word ones, right? If you pay attention in this sentence, I love this house. I don't like that house. Así sería el original, ¿no? I love this house. I don't like that house. You see? So, we don't want to repeat house in here. So, we are going to replace it with one, right? I love this house. I don't like that one. This one is representing what? The house. Make sense? Okay. Look, can you help me, David, please, with this info? <clears throat> In this example, we can use the pronoun one because we mentioned, mentioned the noun house before. One is re replacing the noun house. Okay. One is replacing the, the noun house. Look at this example. I love Italian food. I hate, what if I say uh, Mexican food? I love Italian food. I hate like that food. I can eliminate food and put what? One. That one. one. That one. I love Italian food. I hate that one. What? That food. What food? The Mexican food, you know? So it's like going back, right? So let's go with more info. Jackie, please. We can do this after an adjective, after the, after which, mm -hmm. uh, see those cars, the blue car is mine and the red one is my wife. I will buy the black uh, 
socks, socks, uh, socks, socks, and you will buy the green ones. I love yeah. the house. Which one do you like? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are using many oh, ones or ones in this case, right? Look at the examples, guys. See those cars? It's a question. See those cars? Okay. Uh, the blue, the blue car is mine. Adjective, noun, right? And the red one, it's my wife's. Let's go with the red one. This one is representing the car, so we don't repeat it, right? And number two, what is the substitution? Once the uh, socks. socks, 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 and I have plural ones. You see? And then we can do it in a question, look. Which one, which one do you like? Which one? Which what? The house. house. Which house, right? I love both. Ah, me encantan ambas casas. Which one do you like? Okay. All right. Let's go with more info. Can you help me, Vianne? Three. We will use one when we replace a singular noun and once when we replace a plural noun. Simple. Order of adjective. What cup? Should I buy? I love the orange one, but they love the green ones. Okay. Si se fijan, entonces, cuando usamos el one y el ones, usualmente vamos a ocupar adjetivos porque tenemos que distinguirlos. ¿Se fijan? Como cuando decir, eh, me encantan los azules. Y ahí dices, the ones, right? Los azules. Estoy usando un adjetivo para poder usar el one. ¿Me explico? Okay. Because we need to be specific in there, right? Let's go with the uh, exercise one. Let's see if we can do it. Octavio, help me, please. Yes. Exercise one. one. Look, look at this, the, the situation shown. shown. By you. Oh, oh my God. Sorry, Octavio. No. No. No, no, no. The instructions are wrong because we're using did and used to. No, no, no. Let me explain the instructions. Who is Tony in this picture? I'm sorry, Octavio. Who is Tony in this picture? Right? What is the noun? Tony. Tony, right? So I can say something like Tony is the tall man, for example, right? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Tony or he, whatever, he is the one with the one with the yellow shirt, for example. That one is better, right? Who is Tony in the in this picture? Tony is the one with the yellow shirt. The one what? Person Tony. The the one person, right? Make sense? Yes. A little confusing, a little confusing. Yes, sure. Who is Tony in this picture? Tony is my noun, okay? 
And then we're going to substitute that noun. Maybe it's easier if we do, if you, if we do it like this, Tony is the man with the yellow shirt, right? And I am using men for one. Tony is the man with the yellow shirt. Tony is the one with the yellow shirt. ¿Cómo sería en español? Así de, Tony is the one with the yellow shirt. Tony es el de la camisa amarilla. Yeah, el de. Muy bien, yeah. The one. Let's see, for example, number two. Which coffee will you order? Respond the answer. Respond the answer normally. What? Respond that you, question. You will order the the cappuccino coffee. Okay, I will order I will. the. Uh, I don't know how to spell cappuccino. Do you know? Yes, with double C. Okay. Cap only one P? No, two P's. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know. You don't know either? I, <laughs> how do you I spell cappuccino? And double two C. P's, double C. Yeah. Cappuccino. All right. You miss I will you. order the where? Oh yeah. Cappuccino. Mm -hmm. I will order the cappuccino coffee. Right? Okay. What can we substitute? Cappuccino coffee. Only, what is the adjective? Cappuccino coffee, what is the adjective? Coffee. Do the adjective ah, describing the coffee. Cappuccino. Cappuccino. Okay. Este no lo puedo eliminar. Porque es mi descripción, I right? Will, I will order that one coffee. You are going to eliminate coffee. Porque es tu, es tu noun. That one? The cappuccino ah. ones. Excellent. Oh, okay. I will order the cappuccino one. O sea, yo voy a ordenar el, el de cappuccino. Yes? Okay. okay. Number three. Can I borrow a t-shirt? What what t-shirt can you lend me? Can I borrow? What is borrow? Prestar. Borrow. Mm -hmm. Prestar. Uh -huh. Pedir prestado. Mm -hmm. Puedo pedirte prestada una camiseta? That's what it says. No. no. <laughs> mm -hmm. ¿Cuál me pueden prestar? Describe it. The black. I, oh, I yes. can borrow the... the... Mm -hmm. I can... Acuérdense que comprar es el verbo que, que evolu evoluciona, ¿no? Pedir prestado y prestar sería lend. Mm -hmm. Right? Por ejemplo. Lend. I can lend. Can, can, can you lend I can lend you, tell me. I can lend you the black one. Ah. The, bl the first, uh -huh. the black, the black. Uh -huh. The black what? Give Stitcher. me that noun. Uh, yes. The one. The black, black t-shirt. And this is my noun. I'm going to substitute it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can lend you. I can lend you the black one. The black, black one. one. Mm -hmm. There you go, substituting it. Te, te puedo prestar la 
camiseta negra o te puedo prestar la negra, right? Las fuerzas inferiores, ¿no? Number four. Ay, ay. Which color, ay, Octavio? Oh my gosh, Octavio, ya te vi. <risa> <risa> no me van a grabar, ¿eh? Oh my gosh. <risa> Yo no dije nada. Ay, Octavio. Yeah. La risa, la risa. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Sí, claro. <laughs> Which color did you buy? Did you buy the in... color green? Yeah, in pass, Jose. I what? Oh, in pass, I bought. I bought. Yeah, I bought the color or blue. The green, actually, the green color. The blue. Okay. O negra. Whatever. The green color. The, no, not the black anymore. No, no, no. I bought the blue color. Okay. You can substitute this one. I bought the blue one. I bought the blue one. Okay. I bought the blue one. Okay. One more, one more before we finish. What movie would you watch? What um, movie will you watch? It's in future. I will watch. I will watch horror movie. Mm -hmm. The horror movie. The horror movie. What can you substitute? The horror one. The horror I one. I will watch the horror one. I will watch the horror one. <laughs> I will watch the horror one. Ya. Yeah. Mañana vamos a continuar con este tema porque tenemos que practicar los ones, los ones en plural. Ok. Eh, se desarrollan muchos temas de los adjetivos. Eh, temas que yo, le, yo diría que son los últimos temas de nivel básico. Ok. O son los últimos temas gramaticales fáciles, si así lo podemos decir. Eh, van a ir dando una introducción a temas más complicados, de gramática, obviamente, de listening, sobre todo, de hablar, ¿ok? Vayan preparando también la cuestión de hablar. Tenemos que hablar. ¿Ok? Entonces, um, ¿questions, guys? No, yet. Seguiremos con el mismo libro. Eh, sí, mañana es el 21 todavía. Sí, 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 nos que... 21 y 22. Nos quedan bastante. Vamos Hola, iniciando. Señor, con... no ah, ok. All right, then. Ya, ya, ya no me dejan eh... contestar. También avanzados todos. Los contestan también de volar. ¿Qué tal? Agarraron pila, ¿verdad? Ya voy a entrar a todas las clases y no me van a dejar atrás. Agarraron pila en tu, en tu ida. La ausencia. <risa> y en no. No tener los libros. Gracias, ah. Carlos. ¿Qué pasó con Ricky, Leo? ¿Se fue? ¿Qué pasó, teacher? ¿Qué pasó con Mr. Ricky? Ah, hoy no pudo. No pudo. ¿School? Eh, no. no su, su trabajo. Ya le puso el dedo. Work. Ya le puso el dedo. <risa> chambiador. Es muy chambiador, Mr. Ricky. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Ok. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Sure. Thank you. Have a great night. Welcome. You night. too. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, Mr. David. Bye, bien. Bye, Mr. Jose. Bye, teacher. You're good. Um, yes, I'm yes. tired. Okay. Very tired. Your face. And drink. Yep. Only one. Oh. Only one. To sleep For well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Have you, Tisha. Bye bye. See ya. Bye.